Hey guys, what's up? This is Rob from SpartanCoins.com. What's going on? Looks like it's probably a little too early, early for uh, any viewers that were possibly planning on coming on board because we were... Um, I actually had this thing scheduled for 1 o'clock. So... Um, Yeah, this is all new to me, so I'm just kind of checking this thing out. But I uh, actually really wanted to uh, to do a presentation today about uh, photographic printing. And um, I know that there are some people out there who may not know what photographic printing is, have never heard of it, or have never used it um, for their own custom coin. And what I would actually like to do with this presentation is just show people that um, photographic printing is actually a very, very strong feature that it's probably the strongest feature you're not using and that you're, you know, not taking advantage of in the past. It has been uh, more costly. Uh, it's, but what I'm going to do moving forward is I'm going to offer photographic printing for the same price I offer 3d metal for. So then that way, essentially anybody can, get their ideal coin design done without having to worry about this overwhelming cost. So anyway, it's not quite uh, time yet. So I'm going to just kind of bop back and forth here between screen share and not. And uh, let me go over here to my event. Because I'm not really good at using these uh, these things here just yet, so I'm still trying to learn how to do these uh, do these live events and and things like that. So so how about I go ahead and uh, turn on my camera? That way you guys can see me, and here I am. Rob from Spartan Coins. How exciting, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Let's see. So this would be how I would invite people. This would be my camera. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So... As guests join, hide their audio and video from my broadcast. Broadcast a large video that I see to my audience. Uh, new guests in my large three plus broadcast are muted when they join. Okay, so that's all that kind of stuff. And then uh, let's see, let's go into the control room. Dial guests up, down or off. Eject any bad actors. Okay. So. All right. So this is live. The custom challenge coin feature spotlight. Photographic printing. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. I had... Uh, talked about this I would actually labeled it on my website or put a notice on my website saying that I would be live on uh, May the 4th and the reason I did that was because it's you know May the 4th be with you day and um, but I put a notice on my website and then I thought you know that was kind of dumb because I didn't really make it look any different than any other paragraph on my website so you know what are you gonna do you, you get in a hurry to try to tell everybody and People just end up looking past it anyway, so you know it's it's not that big of a deal one way or the other. Um, so what else? 
I was uh, planning on offering a special discount code within this video for the people who actually watched the live stream. But it looks like as of right now, then that wouldn't really apply to anybody because I don't see any viewers uh, showing up. So, But it's not quite 1 o'clock yet. But I think if they had clicked their notice to be notified or whatever, then they would be notified and, and that's that. So I will wait until it says 1300 on my clock here on my computer's clock and then we will go ahead and get going on this and kind of read through the uh, the slides so alrighty then Just getting a drink of my beverage there. It's uh, getting hot here in Arizona already. So, got to make sure I stay hydrated. Although this Coke Zero is not hydrating me. It's uh, soda is absolutely the worst thing for anybody. But yet I still drink it. So, I'm just like uh, the vast majority of the rest of America where... I do things that I know are bad for me, don't we all? All right, so we're counting down. We're, we're almost there, almost to one o'clock. May the 4th. You know, that, that's very creative. I don't know why uh, we didn't think of that when I was younger, when I was a kid. Uh, May the 4th be with you. That's uh, that's pretty sharp. Star Wars has its own official day of the year, huh? As if it needed another one. I mean, my goodness. that uh, All Star Wars does is win, man. Win, win, win. It's, it's about merchandising. And, you know, you would think that or this is kind of my thought on the Star Wars, and the reason I'm I'm bringing this up is you know May the Fourth, May the Fourth be with you, all that stuff. But my thought is that they probably make so much money off of simply merchandising that that pays for the movie itself. So any any money made off the movie is just cake. It's just the frosting. You know what I mean? So that that's just sick. But anyway, so. I was waiting to see if I'd get any viewers and it doesn't look like I have any and you can't see it, but there's a tear running down my cheek. <laughs> anyway, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Robert Blackburn. I am the owner operator of Spartan coins and SpartanCoins.com. We are your secure online source for the design and manufacturing of custom challenge coins, uh, custom commemorative coins, custom lapel pins, custom medals, custom keychains, pretty much any other custom metal promotional product you can think of, and some non-metal promotional products like poker chips. And uh, we're working on adding doubloons to our ever-increasing inventory of things that we can do. But today, I actually wanted to take an in-depth look into a feature called photographic printing. And this feature is not exclusive to just coins. I mean, it can be done on lapel pens, I'm sure, and, and poker chips or something like that as well. So, uh, But I just wanted to really do a presentation about the strength of this feature because I feel like in a lot of cases it's underutilized and it's probably underutilized because either not enough is known about it or um, it's too costly or people think that that means it's not a real coin. 
So without further ado, let me go ahead and jump in with a screen share here. And let's do this thing. All right, so here's a little slideshow that I'd whipped up to go over. And um, <clears throat> so, why choose photographic printing for your custom coin? And the short and brief answer is because of the great flexibility and the opportunity to accomplish what is normally impossible. And that's no joke, but it's also, uh, it just makes accomplishing whatever it is easier as well because something is being printed instead of cast or struck. So that right there provides a lot of flexibility. You know, the potential to overlay things uh, is there. And that's, uh, people are pretty interested in uh overlaying items or um, superimposing something over this or that on coins and it's a lot easier to do that with photographic printing because you can actually adjust the opacity or visibility of something in a photo and that will be adjusted in the finished product and you can't do that on a hard metal die struck or die cast coin you can't adjust the opacity. It's either there or it's not. It's kind of like you're either pregnant or you're not. Or you're not. So um, on to the next slide. So one of the, obje the objections, probably the, the main objection to using photographic printing would be that's not a real coin. And well, I would counter that argument by saying that most hardcore new numismatists don't consider challenge coins to be real coins either so they consider them to be more metals or medallions and uh, you know so coins unless it's currency related cannot carry the title coin uh, according to some numismatists so just kind of throwing that out there so the advantages of using photographic printing can be seen right here in this slide. And you'll see inside that green block, there is the phrase you make and that you make represents walls of metal or a metal outline that contain and separate the paint colors and or compose the characters. So when you use photo photographic printing, the need for walls of metal disappears because it's all being printed instead of stamped or cast. Okay, so on to the next slide. Fire in the hole. Oops, sorry, flames I mean. Fire is one of those things that it is incredibly difficult to recreate in our standard normal artwork because you know you have all these converges convergences of colors these gradients these transitions from one color to another and plus i mean fire is just so uh unique and natural and beautiful i mean it you know it's terrible when it's destroying someone or property or whatever but just to look at fire the way it dances the way it moves it's, it's just very, very fascinating. It's, it's a very neat thing. Um, but trying to draw it in a traditional manner for a coin, it, it doesn't typically work out that well, in my opinion, and would be better in a printed scenario. So as you can see from this particular coin pictured here, you see the transitions of yellows and oranges and reds inside the flame and it just looks natural it looks like you know actual fire so that's pretty cool and then as we uh I, i've already addressed the the gradient the transition of colors but you can also see 
you know, the uh, the shading, the detail shading inside the pistons and inside the skull on this coin. And, you know, you can see that the uh, the yellow lettering was added in support of uh, the support platoon down there. And this was actually a uh, coin that I did for a customer last year around the time of the Marine Corps birthday. I think some of you if you watch this video and actually follow Spartan Coins on Facebook, then you will notice that this picture was used to uh, wish the United States Marine Corps happy birthday last year on Facebook. So um, I, I like this coin. Like I said, I, I like the flexibility that the, uh, the photographic printing offers because you can just do so many things and uh, that you can't normally do. So, uh, Pardon me for a second while I get a drink. All right, next slide. As I've already said, flexibility. But um, I don't know if you guys noticed this from the previous picture, but you can see the gold uh, ring, the gold metal ring that's... Um, containing the photographic printing insert on this coin so as much as you know the inner is not raised and recessed or cast like a normal coin is the outer supporting edge of the coin is still very much metal and plated with your choice of metal finish and so on and so forth so it's um it doesn't completely lose its coin feel uh, is in recessed, you know, in the printed area, like a traditional coin is. But you, it's it's kind of a trade off because you're you're trading um, the raised and recessed feel for the extreme flexibility and uh, stuff of the printed, the the photographic printing. So. More examples of coins that use photographic printing while maintaining their real coin qualities. And here's another. The image on the left actually combines photographic printing in the middle with 3D metal around it and then the raised type on top of the 3D. So that was a coin that we did to celebrate uh, a safety award for a power generation company which was really really cool I, I'm very very glad to be a part of that and then uh, on the right the Washington Dulles International Airport coin that's uh, a photograph in the middle obviously and uh, you know there's just some instances like I say that the idea the flexibility that photographic printing offers is just the way to go. I mean, it just simplifies everything because how do you dull down an image of Washington Dulles International Airport to fit it on a coin? You know, how would you do that in metal walls? I mean, it would be kind of a convoluted mess and you couldn't get streaking lights in it the way uh, you have on this picture. So, I think this was a, a very, very good option for this coin. There could have actually even been more done with the upper portion of the image. But um, anyway, that's uh, you know a good coin. It satisfies all the needs, checks the box, checks all the boxes, and it's uh, a good coin. So, and then uh, transitions and merging photographs. Now, this is something that is pretty much impossible to do without having a hard defining line between the two photos if you're trying to do it in a traditional sense of raised walls of metal or traditional sense of high relief 3d metal so we took these two photos and we combined them for the inner ring of this coin design that was approved and manufactured and this was for a memorial 
a memorial coin we did uh, last month and um, so it it's it was a sad reason that we had to use it but I was really excited about the way the coin turned out I thought the photo blend was pretty top-notch and uh, it was just neat to be able to do it and see it come to life and uh, you know I just don't really know what else to say on that it was it was fun to do it was neat to see I still see some improvements I probably could have made with the blend but um, I'm always gonna be like that because I'm just kind of nitpicky so when it comes to these coins you know uh, <laughs> I can I can pick stuff to death all day long so that's just who I am and I, I've been doing it for a long time so I'm really really critical I, I don't mean to be but it's kind of my my experience kind of makes me that way so and uh, so yeah I was uh, going to have a special offer for anybody who watched this video during the live stream but what I will end up doing is if people contact me with this offer I will most likely give it to them um, within the you know three-day grace period or whatever so anyway the special off this special offer would save you as much as one hundred and thirty five dollars and I don't know about you guys but to me that's folding money I can do quite a bit with hundred and thirty five bucks pay a couple of bills go out to a really super nice dinner um, you know you fold it up and put it in your pocket and save it for a rainy day whatever so as you can see there's a screenshot on this slide and that is a screenshot of the bottom of our contact us page on sportandcoins.com you you will see a small contact form there and you just simply fill out your name email address and comment using Spartan metal which is going to be the promo code now when you comment using this promo code you're going to receive a discount valid discount validation code email from me upon submitting that form I'm offering 30 of these discount validation codes and the discount validation code entitles you to save 75 percent on your die fee when you order 125 coins or more coin sizes 2.25 inches or smaller and special shapes are included now this was actually like I said intended for those who are watching the live stream uh, so but the reality is that anybody who acts up to the, the 30 people uh, between now and Monday May 8th will have the opportunity to take advantage of the savings so if you were ordering our smallest standard size coin then you would be saving $75 or if you were ordering the largest size coin that's available with this offer you would save $135 um the big one special shapes included so you know usually 2.25 inches is a good size for a functional bottle opening coin and i stress that part functional um and obviously i'm trying to create a sense of urgency with this offer so i would want your order that you're placing and taking advantage of the discount validation code I want that order placed by June 4th 2017 so if you have the intention of taking advantage of this offer then please do so all right guys so this is uh, this is Rom for Spartan coins I sincerely sincerely thank you for taking the time to watch this video 
It's been my great pleasure to hopefully make you more knowledgeable about custom coins and hopefully uh, people will view, view this uh, in enough time to actually save some money and take advantage of my offer. So this has been and always will be Rob for SpartanCoins.com a veteran owned and operated business and we look forward to working with you so until next time be good to yourselves and each other I'll talk to you later